It is so exciting. The, we the weather, it's as good as it gets. Sunny uh, and then gloomy, but I like gloomy yeah, for a change. Even, yeah, even the gloomy here is like, oh, all the 58 and gloomy is amazing. In Dallas, you're like, you know, either all bundled up because it's 30 degrees or it's 110 degrees. So. No, 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 don't ever go back to Dallas. You're good here. Uh, so, no, we're really grateful to be here. The family's so excited. And, and ultimately, uh, we, have a, we have a squad here that can do some special things this year. So we're excited to put that together and uh, go win some trophies. One of the boxes that I've talked about on my whiteboard in my office has been forming a group um, who are strong and strong together. And it's, I've seen many examples of that already in preseason and in last weekend as well at home. Uh, so I am not concerned at all that our team will not be up for the challenge or up for the fight. I get to talk to Ryan Hollingshead, which is someone who, in full circle, is coming back to the Golden State to serve for your locality. We're born in Granite Bay, California. You had a good stint for Dallas. Yep. And now you're here. We needed you, man. Yes. Welcome yes. to the show. So <laughs> excited. Yeah, excited to be here. And I, we went to, I went to school, and my wife went to school in LA, too. So it's like a real homecoming. It's awesome. And you had a great career for UCLA as well. Yep right yep. before you started your professional career, which was a little bit delayed because first, you wanted to help your brother build a church in Sacramento, right. and you also wanted to help an orphanage in Haiti. Right. So that to me is really an impressive feat. I'm so proud of you yeah, for making thanks. that decision because it was about to be your professional debut. Right, right. Yeah, it was a hard decision. It was, uh, I went back and forth for the longest time. My brother and I had been dreaming of this Christian church we wanted to start up in Sacramento. and. I'd been talking about what we wanted it to look like and all these things. And he was like, hey, it's happening starting in February, which is, you know, right after the draft, right, right after there. all that. So I was like, oh no, what do we do? And through lots of conversation, lots of prayer, I was like, we got it, we're gonna do it. So said no to the draft, uh, said yes to the church. And the church is still flourishing up in Sacramento. My brother's still the lead pastor there. And uh, it's really fun to go back there and just see uh, all that, all that has been accomplished there. It's, it's really sweet. And, and then I came and played anyway. That's so the thing. Great. It shows that it was worth it. You were able to really let yourself be guided by divine timing. Yeah. And you're still here. You're totally, in the MLS, totally. man. Yeah. And now year nine, right? In the MLS. And, uh, yeah, what a crazy route. Obviously not a, not a route that most people go, but, uh, it worked out really well. I feel like it's not in vain that you were named MLS Works Humanitarian of the Year in 2017 because not only did you serve the community however you could, you're also a survivor. Yeah. You are one of the most yeah. resilient athletes <laughs> I have met for the MLS. You were struck by a vehicle when you yes. were trying to help a stranded motorist. Yeah. You were launched 30 feet in the air. Yes. You broke your vertebrae, I think C2, C3, C4, you're pretty much done. Right. Your hopes of playing professionally for soccer were a little bit on the yeah. edge, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. you recovered. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, your spirit is intact. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it was crazy. You know, obviously years later, you're like, of course I'm still playing. But in the moment, I was, I mean, I was in a hospital bed, all like tied up, couldn't move at all. They were, uh, they were not sure if I was gonna walk again or move again. At, at definitely at a professional, athletic uh, standard, that they didn't think that was gonna happen again. But. Uh, the God protected me and on top of that put around me doctors that had just, I mean, they did everything for me. They got me on everything I could be on. They were, they were, you know, getting all these different evaluations on what I could do and how could they heal what had been broken in as least invasive way as possible, right? So like not having to do fusion, not having to bind my spine together. And uh, so I'm, I'm so grateful. But yeah, in the moment I was like, I don't think I'm ever playing again, but here I am. You had the good amount of doctors, you had the right people, you had your son Huck, I yes, saw him in the picture yes, right next to you, you had yes. a lot of divine intervention as well. Right. Um, and you made it to the other side in 2019, you were named Defender of the Year, you had six goals, three assists, I'm telling you, major Crazy. comeback in the yeah. MLS, and yeah. now you're here representing black and gold. Yeah. How does it feel to be back home in California and your home state? It feels amazing, yeah, we um, we are so happy to be back. All my family's still in Sacramento, that's where my brother's church is. Uh, all of our good friends from school are all here in the LA area. It is so exciting, the, we the weather, it's as good as it gets. 
Sunny uh, and then gloomy, but I like gloomy yeah. for a change. Even, yeah, even the gloomy here is like, oh, all, the 58 and gloomy is amazing. In Dallas, you're like, you know, either all bundled up because it's 30 degrees or it's 110 degrees. So. No, 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 don't ever go back yeah, to Dallas. You're good here. Uh, so, no, we're really grateful to be here. The family's so excited. And, and ultimately, uh, we, have a, we have a squad here that can do some special things this year. So we're excited to put that together and uh, go win some trophies. And that just about does it for our interviews with LAFC players. We're going to go to a break, but when we come back, it's going to fast forward all the way to the big game between LAFC Black and Gold against Portland Timbers. Stay tuned. Yeah.